You've run, and now you must have your voices heard by voting. We have to turn out at the polls to make the difference. Are you ready to make that difference? Okay, are we ready for a great victory for women? We march, we run, we vote, we win. Yeah, thank you all very much. We are here to say, as women, we're not taking it anymore. We're fighting for women's rights, LGBT rights, uh, the rights of people of color, the rights of immigrants, and to support the Democrats in our government who are fighting Donald Trump. Over the course of this year, I wanted it became clear to me that people were worried that the message was going to go away, that people's resistance was going to go away. I wanted to make sure I was here again. We're staying. He needs to hear us. He needs to hear us that every time something else gets taken away, we're not going to walk away. We're going to come back at him. No fatigue. No, no fatigue. No fatigue. That's what I keep saying. No fatigue here. To me, this is one of the ways that I can let the world know that I resist and that I'm going to be campaigning and working as hard as I can to make sure we make um, get we change what's happening. It's everything I thought I would be because we're all here together, complimenting each other and just raising each other up and supporting. It's just ah, it's such an incredible atmosphere. I'm really having so much fun. We're still marching. We're still protesting, but now we have to also organize. <laughs> I feel like it's very active this year. We're talking about voting. We're talking about really using our voices. Um, it's, it's less of a demonstration and more, of, uh, more active.